Hi guys, this is Joe Kelly. Today we're going to be talking about how do you get to those juicier parts, right? Are you ready for bigger roles? So if you're feeling that you're always doing the same kind of parts, if you're doing all the co-stars, if you're doing all these little supporting roles and you really feel that you're ready to move to the next level, you're ready for some media parts, you're ready for some more emotionally demanding parts, some meaningful parts, right? Parts that actually move you, that touch you, that are meaningful for you and for the story, that you're ready to like carry the story forward and not just be a little piece of a puzzle. Well, I totally get it. That's why you got into acting. You're excited about storytelling and you want your characters to be the ones that are driving the story forward. Well, this is what we're going to be talking about. So what I see most actors do, um, and that's before we start working together, of course, is that they hustle. So once they feel that they're ready for the bigger parts, they're ready to move from co-star to guest star or to recurring, they'll, you know, like pressure their agents and they'll send their material everywhere. And, um, you know, they'll start to network like you might have been doing this and have had this feeling that then it all depends on the industry. It all depends on them for you to be able to go to the next level. And we're going to flip that upside down today because there's actually a very simple way of making this depend only on you. So the difference between the actors who do those small, um, and they can be great parts in the small parts, right? I'm not saying the small parts are not good. I'm just saying that if you're ready to move to the next level, the, the difference between the actors who do those small parts and the actors who do the bigger, juicier parts is their absolute level of freedom. So the little parts are usually actors who are able to act well, to do it right, to do the job. And then the actors who do the bigger parts, the ones that carry the projects, the TV series, the plays, the movie, or whatever you're into, are the actors who manage to be really like unapologetically themselves. I'm surprised I said that word without stumbling on it. Uh, so in order for you to be able to completely be 100% with yourself unapologetically, second time, um, it, it really is the work that you have to do is working through the blocks that prevent you from doing that. Because obviously you are free. You were born free. And then what happens is that a series of blocks and resistances and conditioning start getting in the way of you being able to tap into that incredible, unique freedom that only you have. So once you work through those blocks that prevent you from being completely free and completely unique, then you access your true potential. Then you're really unique. Then there is no competition for you because there is only one you. And when there's only one you and you walk in the room or you self-tape and people see that level of aliveness and uniqueness and presence, well, that's what they want. That's what that's what they want to grab you for. That's what they're hunting for. Casting directors are crazy about people who are able to not just come in and do the job right, but people who can come in fully alive, fully themselves, fully instinctive and free. And again, you already are. You just have some stuff that's in the way of you being able to constantly be with that. So what do you do from here is that I'm going to share with you a free training. It's called Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor so you have a chance of being a great actor. And um, if you have any questions about this training, if you have any comments, you can put them in the, in the comments below and we'll get to them. Um, if this made sense for you, like it so it gets to more people who this message will resonate with. And you can also subscribe. We're going to be sending you a lot of um, content about your um, <clears throat> career and relationship with the industry and how you can move forward inside of all of this. <clears throat> Wonderful. I'm stuck. <laughs> My throat is stuck. It's time for me to stop. <clears throat> stop talking. All right. Good to see you guys. See you soon. Bye.